Hello guys, it's your boy JT Vex on another reaction video in Marvel Super War featuring American Chavez. Let's go! So I just wanna clap guys for the devs that they've given us a new hero that came out in an ordinary way and not in the brilliant casket. So with no further ado guys, Let's start with a reaction video by starting with her skin. Right, so we're in her skin, guys. Um, would you expect that they already announced that they're gonna be releasing only one skin for every new hero that they're gonna be releasing? So, I'm not really disappointed with the skin because I think basically in the comics that this is how she looks like. Um, I thought I'm not really familiar with the comics of American Chavez and I'm not really sure of how old she is in the comics so in the game that I'm currently looking at she's kind of looking not really that old but like an adult uh, I, I always picture her as a child uh, same with same with what happened or same uh, depiction on the was it Doctor Strange yeah, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Uh, I think that was my perception of, of American Chavez uh, with that kind of character. But in this case, she is quite a bit old. And I think I think, this, the, I think the costume is spot on with the comics. But I'm not really quite sure. And first thing I've noticed is that I really dig her shoes. Look at the shoes, guys. <laughs> oh my god! I really, I really yeah. like the shoes and the jacket. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how, what to say. Is that the bo Is that a bomber jacket? So I like the shoes and the the shoes and the jacket. That's it. Uh, nothing much special about the aesthetic of the clothes. I mean, she has. Um, I'm not really familiar with that kind of outfit. Like I remember it. It was called Heaven before. So I think it, today it's cropped up or something. So please just. Uh, let me know if I'm correct. She's having that kind of shirt. Um, a, mini, a mini shorts. And I think these those are stockings or leggings. And I also dig the earrings that she has. Like the big loops. <laughs> I think this is the only time that I notice an earrings of a, f uh, of a female hero in the game. Um, and I also like the entrance as well. Because she flies. I'm not... She flies. I'm not quite sure if she oh, does. Yeah. Gonna fight some she does have what? flight in the comics. Um, I think she does because she is flying in here. So I'm not really sure if oh, yeah. she flies or she just using the dimension to jump around the sky. So let me know for those who are really Marvel diehard fans. Let me know if she really does have the flight power. So... Nothing to say here guys because I have nothing to compare it because uh, what I said earlier is that they're going to be releasing only one skin for a new hero or any kind of hero that is coming out. So I dig the shoes and the jacket, that's all. And the earrings by the way, and also the earrings. With that said, let's go check her skills. So welcome back guys. So before we start off, you already know what we're gonna, we are going to do first. Let's do this first, level her up. And then just get this and then just buy a bunch of shoes so that we won't be bothered by those items at that's popping at the right corner in the top. She has four skills. I all this for a normal childhood. I would. She has four skills? Oh. Okay. So she has four skills, guys. So uh, I need to sit properly here. Yes. Uh, okay. So let's check out her. Running animation? Is it running animation? Can't be brave if you've never been scared. Oh, okay, that's her animation of moving. Ooh, she has an aura. And I, th I wish that they're gonna be doing this to some of the heroes that has kind of like uh, enhanced basic attack or like a buff that they're having. If it's like um. I like fights. In a fight, I always. If they're fight. if those skills that are like. Uh, if not in combat for three seconds, then chatter, chatter, chatter. Those kind of skills. Uh, I think single. Uh, good example here is Cersei. 
Um, I think she could have an aura emanating around her if she's gonna proc portal. her passive yeah, heal no, so that it's much more easier for the player to know that it uh, you're able to heal the, your teammates uh, during that time because currently I th I think yes she does has an indication but it's only in her arms that is glowing so in this case in American Chavez you really notice that she has a buff because of the aura that's emanating around her body so <clears throat> that's a good touch and i like how those little stars are coming out because you only you only see this when you're doing like uh Check you later. like recalls but in this case she is emanating an aura that has stars coming up i really like that touch for her buff so good job devs uh first of all let's go the recall Nothing special because she's just fixing her gloves or her fist. Check you later. Yeah, he just, just she's just she's just cracking her knuckles. So her tongue is. Ooh, I thought it was really boring, but there was a kick on the end. Really nice, really nice touch at the end. <laughs> it it is a good. I'm not quite sure what kind of kick is that. Roundhouse kick. Nice. I'm digging the roundhouse kick and the and the pause of her, of her leg. Nice, nice touch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like the taunt. I'm uh, not not really fan of the recall. So I already I already seen the trailer for American Chavez and um some of the skills are really OP, but I really didn't read the description because I really want my genuine uh, my genuine reaction on how her skills I work all this so to start off good. with I her would. skill one it's called or her passive first star of utopia a passive americans <clears throat> americas americas meteor quake and stellar highway abilities allow her to create star realm that lasts for three seconds within the star right. realm american scared. gains a shield that absorbs damage and the shield will continue to exist for two seconds after she leaves the realm. Okay, so I'm guessing the Meteor Quake and the Stellar Highway are skill 2 and skill 3. Or skill 1 or skill 2. So like let's jump fight? to her to first do. skill which is the Meteor Rush. American Chavez forward, I charges forward in specified direction and strikes with her fist dealing damage to all enemies on the path while in increase wait wait all enemies First on the path while increasing portal. her attack speed yeah, by 50 percent for two s oh I, she increased her attack speed to all enemies in the path well i'm not really quite sure how oh wait, i'm not really sure how the sentence was made all to all enemies on the path A lot of feel while helpless. increasing her attack Makes me feel speed good to help them. By 50% for 2 seconds, when Americans America's basic attack hits an enemy hero or minion, her ability cooldowns will be reduced by 2 seconds. Wait, what? America's basic attack hits an enemy a minion, better. her ability Not cooldown perfect. will be reduced to, by 2 seconds or 1. Why is it 2 or, two or 1 respectively? So your basic attack will reduce your cooldown for your skill 1. But I'm really not sure about the tall enemies on the path while increasing her attack speed. I'm not really sure why. Okay, so let's just check. Wait. Um, what does it say? Oh, see, she increases. Not while. She increases her attack speed. That's why I'm a bit confused how the sentence uh, is being composed. So she increases her attack speed after the skill. See? One, two. You can actually make three quick attacks after this. One, two, three, and go back to your ordinary or your normal basic at your normal attack speed. So I think this is her initiate attack. Can it cross? 
Yes, it can cross. It has a good distance, by the way. It has a good distance. Ooh, I like the effects. My soul will clean your soul. I like her effects. So that's her skill one. It doesn't proc the passive. So let's go to no. Let's try to hit an enemy hero. It might probably proc when you hit an enemy hero. No, it doesn't proc if you hit an an, an enemy hero. Okay, so this is her chasing and initiate attack. As a fighter, I think she needs that. And a good mobility skill also because it can cross walls. Right, so she is a mobile physical no. Yeah, physical fighter, a mobile fighter hero. All right, so that's her first skill. Her second skill is, uh, meteor quick. Okay, so this is the one that creates the passive. Uh, Amer America stomps the ground beneath her, uh, fracturing the earth in a uh, specified direction and dealing damage to enemies along the way. If the fracture hits an enemy. Hero monster reaches max distance. Star Realm. Star Realm is done, alright? No. Star Realm. The the realm that she's created, that's called Star Realm, will be created. Dealing In a fight, damage to enemies fight. within the range and slowing them down. Nice. Uh, okay. Well, it has a good distance. Wait. Does it? Alright. So it also procs even though if you don't hit an enemy hero. Whoa! Okay, so wait. If you go here, and if you come inside, you gain shield and something happens to your skill 3. See, it blows. Ooh. Wait, can you move back and forth? No. Oh. So how long is the shield? 1. I'm not really sure. I think you can only do it once. And I think it... Because what if you just stay here? Is the shield unlimited? I think not. I think not. I think it will go... Wait, let's just check. Let's just check the... This. Okay, so you can go in multiple times and then your shield will just gonna be regenerating. But it's a very small window to do it twice. Wait, uh, let's try if... Sorry. If it regenerates... Oh, uh, let's, just, let's just check if it... Re it re oh, sorry. Ah, uh, no. You need to go out. You need to go out to get the shield again. Ah no! It doesn't work. Why was there a shield earlier? So it doesn't... It doesn't proc twice. Why did it proc twice earlier? So I'm not sure if you can proc it twice. I think you could. But there's a very small window for the second one. I think so. So that's the this one and then it creates a slow to the enemy. And it's not a forever slow. It will just slow you. And then you can go out. It's not like you're gonna be slowed there forever inside the aura. Or the fractured fractured realm. But I also like the design. Because there is a design of the fractured uh, realm, which it has a star big star and then there's a star coming out i can't wait for her new skin so that this would be more emphasized i mean her skill abilities really looks amazing uh one of those heroes that are very flashy with their skills all right so that's her second skill her third skill which is starlight smash passive uh american Javis. 
America charges up her starlight with what charges up her starlight over time over time when starlight is fully charged and she First is within the range yeah, of a realm special. her ability 3 will turn into starlight smash comet oh okay that was the one that we're we see that the skill 3 is changed that's a passive so active America delivers a powerful punch Specified enemy dealing, launching Makes upward for a starlight smash. Consumes all of her starlight and rushes to specify their specified enemy hero dealing target. Shortly after, American leaps into the air with the target enters star shaped portal for two seconds. Better. America Not now perfect. move around Look the star shaped portal and is un. Untargetable. America and the target then lands to get okay. So let's just check her. F Ooh, wait. It's up. Oh, oh America. It, it became Street Fighter. <laughs> oh, you can. Oh, you can. You can do this. Oh, you can. Oh, you can <laughs> nice nice combo by the way uh, nice combo nice combo this and this and it has a long knock up it has a long knock up I like the animation though oh you can so you can <laughs> All right, so that's her skill uh, her third skill without the one that is changing the skill three so let's do this and Woo! Whoa. I mean I saw that in the trailer and it's amazing how you do it That's a very long time. Saban! Put it here. Ah, there's no slow. There's no slow. There's no slow. There's no slow if you hit other heroes. There will just be a damage. There just is gonna be a damage, but there no there's no slow. Only the slow that you can do to the enemies is your skill too. Ooh. Wait, you, so you can just do this? I I it needs to be a no. You need to be in the you need to be in the circle. The American Dream, baby. Sassy voice. <laughs> Wait. Ah, okay, so you can, you can, you can. Oh, sorry. You can click it earlier. But that's very long. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. Kind of like three point five seconds being outside. Of the combat zone same uh it's like it's like magic but you can't really control where you're going into the dimension because magic can do whatever she wants as long as you you're i mean you're both in the that dimension but in this case you don't know where you are you can't do anything as well you're just carrying the other enemy but that's a very long time to like uh, for example, uh, a marksman. A marksman is the one carrying your enemy team. And then by separating the marksman from his team, it's a very big disadvantage as long as you can get him and drag him away from the battlefield. Right? That's what magic do, right? She initiates and then isolates a single target that's most effective when there's a team clash. Right? 
So it's really amazing, but it's kind of OP because it, it is three seconds. And the most OP about it is because you can control you can control where it goes. I mean, it's very it has a quite it has a good distance. It has a good distance where to travel. See, it has a good distance to travel, like especially during. Uh, okay, let's just bring across the across the wall. See, you can just do this and bring her to the other side of the wall so that you're gonna be safe and your enemy team could kill that certain enemy. It's a bit, it's a bit OP. Uh, I think they should change this slower or the travel distance where she can bring the enemy like probably this far only around the around the just out uh, just outside the range there just around that that part but having this it's like times two of the Hundred percent range of this one, so it's a bit far, and I think it's a bit OP as well. Probably they could tone it down like fifty percent of the distance where she can travel to the other dimension and bring back the enemy. So I think that's better and more balanced. So they should look into it. They should look into Everywhere that one because it's easy to proc this one it's easy to proc this one see it's so easy to proc it oh you're in the other team so they should tone that down the distance how, how she can travel when you get the enemy hero they should tone it down by 50 percent so that's her skill three her like not enhance is like shuriken, shuriken. and this is the one that is buff so probably there would be better like 50 percent like here then you bring it down i think that's fair so that's her skill three her ultimate uh, we, we, which we all see or seen in the trailer is really a bit OP for me because it's global um, I mean it is a two I mean not really to how do you say this sorry the rain is very I'm not quite sure if you can hear the rain but it is raining now so I'm not quite sure if it's uh, a double blade ultimate uh, it's because let's just let's just read it first. So America Cha America uses her special awareness to gain first vision of all enemies. She gains vision uh, using this special. ability again within eight seconds. Allow to create star shaped portal at the location of specified enemy hero, and the portal will move along with the portal. Okay, the mortal will move along where she lands. Afterward, America replenishes her starlight and passes through the portal land ground, creating a star realm and dealing. Okay, so she even creates the portal so that you can just do this and you're gonna be saved. Right? So, go this. You're not safe in the tower. Oh, hey, I'm pretty here. See? You're not safe. And what I urged, what I when I mentioned earlier if it's a two uh, bladed sword to use the ultimate, it's not because you can know if the enemy is setting you up for an ambush, right? Basically those kind of skills are two bladed because it's a risk and reward kind of situation. In this case, it's not because you can scope where the enemies are. If they're just hiding in the bush and then someone is baiting like this because you're going to be seeing her. Just baiting you or come here, come here, I'm tele teleport to me. It can't be that scenario because you can see, oh, they're in the bush. They're trying to pretend I'm here, but it's a preparation for a gang. 
So it's not uh it's good for scouting as well and it's good for chasing and the ability itself is a bit op for me and look here and i can do this where are you going see Legendary. We've got the best uh the ultimate that she has doesn't have risk doesn't have risk actually uh, because first of all first of all you can know you, I mean you can see where the enemy are because it has a scouting scouting ability so you know if, if it's a joke or it's a plan to gank you or an ambush so that's out of the picture because you know where the enemies are second uh she creates another rel and can just use her skill three so she can pull you out whatever she is even I though went. it's in the tower she can pull you out and then destroy you by the skill two and skill one that she has left it's either you use your blink to go back to the tower or you risk by fighting her can't without be health because be basically scared. we only go to the tower if you don't have health right so basically she has a free kill even if you're in the tower because she can use her skill 3 to pull her out out of the tower range and then just destroy you so and it is a global skill but i'm not quite sure yet i'm not quite sure if like in a fight, uh, i'm not quite sure because see um it takes time so i'm not quite sure if uh, I think wait uh, let's just check it out um... alright so hero AI I think oh okay, so let's just move oh no sorry where am I landing right so, so basically you can move away from it I thought uh, but it's still kind of OP because it's really fast how she See, uh, she can actually kill you. So basically, that's it. Um, she can actually makes two portal, even though it. I'm oh, sorry. If you escape the other portal, she can do this, and still, and still get you by the skill three. So it's a bit op because it's global. Uh, I think they should put a range on it. I a uh, huge range. Because basically she does travel to dimensions, but the best thing to do about this is uh, tone down her skill 3, the enhanced skill 3, by 50%. And then her ultimate, um, First time I created it should only world. be, yeah, you can only special. scout it for those um, enemies that are not hiding in the bush. You can't scout it if or your enemies are hiding in the bush. Just to be fair, because her ultimate doesn't really have a risk. So, a you compare it to helpless. Captain America. Makes Captain America can, can... How do you say this? Can... Wait, using Captain America's ultimate, you take you are taking a risk of initiating her his ultimate, right? Into the team fight, into the territory of the enemy. Um, you're taking better. a risk because you're gonna Not be perfect. on the other side of the enemy all alone unless your team goes with you right um, in this case American Chavez ultimate is there if she procs her ultimate she knows that the enemies are around you she, I mean probably she you won't use it because it's gonna be an ambush I would. comparing them to Captain America Captain America needs to risk it I mean if he really wants to do a team fight he is gonna be initiating that ultimate so that he can kill a priority target or or what else or a major character that is winning the team fight things like those so i think they should put a risk on american chavez ultimate 
to take risk on the ultimate. Not just by... I think it has a long cooldown. I like fights. I think it has a long cooldown. Oh, six, 60 this. seconds is a long cooldown, but this is without items yet. So you can reduce that probably like 40, 40 seconds. So it's a bit OP for me. So I think they should tone. First of all, they need to tone down the skill threes enhanced attack by 50% of how or how far she can bring the enemy. The rain is really loud. That's why I'm kind of shouting. Sorry. And second of all, her ultimate needs uh they need to put a risk of when or how she use her ultimate the best thing for um, top of my head is that you can only see enemies that are not hiding in the bush so if them. you are in a bush you can't be seen by your ultimate so i think that's a that's a trade-off right so yeah so i think you can get american chows by the way guys uh f f like for three and uh, 300 the crystals the triangle crystals I'm not quite sure if it's crystal so you can get her thank you guys for giving us a new hero that's not in the bright crystal and thank you once again thank you thank you thank you very much for giving us a new hero it's been quite some time for giving us a hero that is not really to get just by playing the game so thank you once again developers keep doing it uh keep adding more heroes so that this game will be much more uh fun to play and just waiting for our um not really favorite but more heroes that we could uh play in the battlefield right thank you thank you very much again for releasing a new hero so i hope you Can't keep on great. doing this i hope scared. next month there's gonna be a new hero again so guys this is my reaction video those are my my points of interest for her skills so guys if you like this kind of content me um like doing my reaction my genuine reaction for the first time uh reading how their skill works don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you're gonna be notified on the next upcoming video thank you guys peace